so good day again so my um video for today is is the continuation of my previous video so today i today i'm going to um share to you my reflection about this following um history so let's start in the 1899 constitution of the republic of the philippines so as time passes and people become more motivated and hungry to achieve freedom revolts against the spanish regime emerge eventually defeating the repressive regime philippine independence was achieved thanks to the bravery of filipinos on june 12 1899 1898 i'm sorry 18, june 12 1898 the the philippines declared their independence in kawit Cavite. in kawit Cavite. so as we all know different issues have emerged in economics education and most notably politics in recent years years due to numerous circumstances there are various disputes between countries so let's move on to the treaty of paris between the united states of america and kingdom of spain so the united states supports for cuba's struggle against the spanish regime as, as well as the disputed explosion of the USS made in Havana Harbor have all contributed to the outbreak of the conflict. As a result, it is recorded as the United States' first overseas war, which included campaigns in Cuba and the Philippines. I was attracted by the word, word legacy after reading this history. We have many customs and practices in the Philippines that we have followed until now. Spaniards exposed us to Christianity or Catholicism throughout their era, which continues to, to, this, to this day, most likely by building up our building up altars in our homes with Catholic icons, flowers, and, and candles. So, the next one is Jose Rizal's Retraction Controversy. I was intrigued by the word controversy when reading Rizal's Retraction with plurality of beliefs. I understand that history is essential and that we must study it in order to comprehend events. However, the issue surrounding results destruction is time-consuming and may cause confusion among Filipinos. So, the convention between the United States of America and Great Britain delimiting the boundary between the Philippine archipelago and the state of North Borneo on, 18, on 1930 results ability in creating poetry and stories about enlightenment from colonialism contributed significantly to the independence and liberty of Filipinos in the hands of colonists. colonists. Rizal fought and wrote against the Catholic Church in his day in order to educate Filipinos about the true meaning of independence. So, after that, let's proceed to Philippine-American War. So because of its history, the Philippines have been colonized by Spain, America, and Japan. But prior to the Jap Japanese occupation, the country was initially colonized by the Spanish, who caused great anguish and suffering. Filipinos are being oppressed. The Philippines and the United States fought a war in the country. Furthermore, Connecting to what is actually occurring, we began to form a hazy connection. Due to several factors, um, in Americans, America and the world despised our President Duterte. 
the United States attempt to cut off financial aid to the Philippines. So, the Filipinos were stronger. Uh, so, during, I uh, since the United States attempt, attempted to cut off financial aid to the Philippines, during American period, the Philippines were stronger dur during the American period. When they received receive adequate treatment, the struggle, the Treaty of Paris on December 10, 1783 was signed between uh, Spanish and Americans. So the Commonwealth of the Philippines, as the Philippines gained progressive freedom, the Commonwealth government was founded from 1935 to 1946 under the tidings Mark the Fall. Law under Tidings MacDuffel Law. This type of government serves as a transitional administration as the Philippines prepares for complete independence. The Commonwealth government is working together to address the economic and social issues that are currently affecting the country. So, World War II. Every country has been subjected to oppression as well as a global struggle, struggle known as World War II, during which the world was not completely progressive, but development was steadily strengthened. However, due to the bad goals of other countries and their conflicts, a war erupted that affected not only one country but the entire planet. So the history of Mindanao Peace One. I understand how the Philippines significantly works after reading the history of Mindanao. The USU was able to engage in international trade with countries as China, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and the Dutch. Their Finnish commodities included expensive tea, bird's net, and pearls, tortoise shell, mother of pearl chipang. This, this trend not only broadens the scope of commercial activities as well as some interest in group dominance and conflicts. So this, this would be all and see you in my next video. Bye!